So, you want to build many habits in your life? Welcome to Improvement University. In this channel, you will learn how to master your habits, so please consider subscribing. Meet Mike. For his New Year's resolutions, he decided he was going to join a gym and eat healthy to get fit. He also wanted to read two books per month, and he wanted to meditate for 20 minutes a day. Mike was super excited about the way he could end the year. The problem was that by March he was still fat. He has only read two books and he has not meditated on a regular schedule, let alone for 20 minutes. Mike felt really disappointed and bad about himself. A good friend of Mike gave him a book called Many Habits and suggested him to read it as soon as possible since it was a very powerful and short book. He immediately applied the tools and strategies the book offers. Fast forward 3 months and Mike has lost 12 pounds, he has read 5 books and meditates every day for at least 4 minutes. All of Mike's self-defeating dialogue is gone and he realized he was never the problem. The problem was his strategy. Does this story sound familiar to you? Mike discovered that all the motivation he felt in New Year's Eve was not a reliable strategy. Motivation depends on the emotions you are feeling and our feelings are very volatile. Feelings can be altered by sleep, food, events, people, etc. Paradoxically, performing any habit is a very emotionless experience. When you brush your teeth, you don't feel any type of emotion. Mini goals will not trigger any resistance and that's why you will be able to repeat them and create a lasting habit. The best strategy to change Mike's behavior was using his willpower to consistently perform many versions of the habits he wanted to build. Mike decided to eat one apple per day, read two pages per day and meditate for two minutes a day. These mini habits were so easy that they offered no resistance to Mike's brain. He also didn't want to feel bad because he was not even able to do something that easy. Mini habits are super easy versions of the habit you want to build, so they can be repeated every day without effort. If you want to build the habit of journaling, you can start by writing one sentence every day. If you want to build the habit of reading, you can start by reading for 5 minutes every day. The idea is that you tailor the habit you want to build to a size that you find so small that you know it's a joke to do, and that's where the magic happens. This is exactly the way I build my exercise habit. I went from being the laziest person in my house to being able to do bar muscle ups. At first I convinced myself that I could at least take a walk around my neighborhood while I enjoyed some music. Pro tip, if you can pair a habit you want to build with an activity you currently enjoy, it will make things so much easier. After some weeks I was doing two laps. As time went on, I decided to join a gym that was 5 minutes from my house. I decided to go at the same time I used to walk around, which was around 6 am. At the gym I decided to join a functional training class because I thought that walking was way too boring and I could use my body to do something more. Fast forward one year and I'm a crossfit athlete that does handstand push-ups and bar muscle ups. It took time, as everything worthwhile does. I now look forward to going to the gym, I simply crave it, I don't like when I miss my training sessions. This is a very powerful book that will help you build any habit you want. You can get this book for free from audible.com with the link in the description below. Go grab it right now and use its tools to improve your life in whatever way you choose. Mini Habits Leverage Willpower Most self-help and habit building books tell you to just start reading for one hour every day and to want it badly enough and to work hard at building the habit you want. There's a big problem with this strategy. Your willpower behaves like muscle and it gets tired by making decisions, resisting urges, solving problems and dealing with negativity. Many habits require almost no willpower to perform since they are so small and that's what makes them powerful. Consistency is life's most important weapon. It doesn't matter how much time you practice a behavior. What matters is how frequently you do it. It is better to meditate every day of the week for 4 minutes than to meditate only one day for half an hour. 
every time that you perform your mini habit, you're building a neuronal pathway in your brain so that in the future, performing your habit will be automatic. As Newton's first law states, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. A habit that is practiced, no matter how small, keeps being practiced. Willpower gets you going. Consistency keeps you going. Momentum creates a habit. If you want to learn more about creating positive habits, please consider subscribing to the channel. The beauty of mini habits is that they leverage your pride and sense of self. You might not do 100 push-ups today, but I bet that you can start with only one. Your brain likes that kind of challenge because it knows it can do it, and thus feel a sense of accomplishment. Your brain doesn't want to feel bad and thus urges you to perform your mini habits because they are so easy that if you don't do it, you will feel bad about yourself. I suggest you to choose one to three mini habits that you want to build. Create a set of cues that will trigger you to perform your habit. You can pick from setting a particular time to organizing your environment or to set a reminder on your phone, whatever works for you. It is very important to reward yourself after you complete your mini habits with something that you like and that reinforces your self-improvement journey. Doing your mini habits every day will guarantee you that forming a new habit will be just a matter of time.